And so it's necessary to have each of these four years with the person God needs in the White House. He said, I will be in the White House in 2016. He said, I'll be there for 24 years, welcomed with open arms to shift things in this country, to shape this nation for God's purposes. That doesn't mean we'll just be one big religious tent somewhere. That means we will prosper in every single area. Trump has been God's choice. So he needs Trump now in 2016. He needs him in 2020. Pence will sit in 20. Uh, you know, he'll be the next one after Trump for eight years. And whoever Trump uh, has raised up under him and Pence together, whoever they know or Pence will pick for his vice president, will be president without a break people no vacations in there for the next eight years after pence will be uh, he will be president for eight years and god in those 24 years that he needs for that platform to free us of anything that would hinder the body of christ creativity new inventions and let me tell you i'm wearing today my nasa shirt there it is all right who has god told you is his choice for this election. Donald J. Trump, he's never changed that. He's never changed what he said about him since 2015 when he began to speak to me about it. And there's so many hundreds of hours of, on YouTube, you can go look, they're all out there uh, declaring prophetically on behalf of God that he chose Trump because he knew that he would do what he needed done. He's bulldozing things God doesn't want. He's clearing the way, really. Well, I might as well throw it out there for Pence. And I haven't been not talking a lot about Pence, but you'll hear that change about two years into uh, wow. President Trump's term. And you'll also see more of him because Trump will be helping him to prepare to be president himself for, guess what? From heaven, eight years of Pence. Some crazy things going on around Pence. Get used to him, people. Not going away. Because after Trump's next four years, Pence will be in the White House for eight years. Yes, God picked him, handpicked him. And back in 2016, when he, when Trump won, I actually have right here, because I was there on inaugural day. There's my inauguration cup. There's, there's President Trump. And there is Pence right there, who, by the way, you know, will be our next president after President Trump. <laughs> no. <laughs> good. That's a good laugh. Good. That came out of the Holy Spirit. Trust me. That's good. Once again, Trump will win and triumph in the White House. For all those who've been praying for that, yes, he's going to win. God has already chosen him to win again. And begin to pray for Pence, who will step in right behind him for eight years. Because whether they any of them like it or not. Trump is going to win in November and he will sit in that White House another four years and influence Pence, who will then be president for eight years. How can I be such a crazy person to say that? Because God himself told me that. Our economy has degraded. The suicide rate has jumped. Public filth and disorder and crime have exponentially increased. And yet your concern is that the Ukrainians, a country most people can't find on a map, who've received tens of billions of U.S. tax dollars don't have enough tanks. Right. I think it's a fair question to ask, like, where's the concern for the United States in that? Well, it's not my concern. <laughs> Tucker, I've heard that routine from you before, but that's not my concern. And God did choose Pence for eight years after Trump's eight years. It is over. <laughs> like a pink nightmare.